So today we'll try to understand how to find out the cumulative normal probability using tables. Now suppose we are having the experiment in which the random variable x is having the value of 13 million here. Now we have to convert this random variable into the standard normal variable that is z. The value of x is 13, the value of mean is 10 suppose and value of standard deviation is let's say it is 2. So value of the standard normal variable is 1.5. Now we have to find out some probabilities. Suppose we have to find out the probability of x greater than 13. Now we know that corresponding to this x is equal to 13 milliampere, the value of z that we have calculated is 1.5. So it means that probability of x greater than 13 is nothing but probability of z greater than 1.5. So our value of z is 1.5. I will use the table to find out the cumulative normal probability. Now this is the table which will give you the cumulative normal probability. That is probability of z less than z. Now our value is 1.5 and corresponding to that the value is 0 0.9332. But actually we have to find out in this example what is the probability that the z is greater than 1.5. So let us see how to find out that particular thing. So as we have seen we have to find out the probability of z greater than 1.5. So z this is z is equal to 0, z is equal to 1.5. So z greater than 1.5 means this is the portion, h portion is our required probability. Now we know that from minus infinity up to 0, the probability is 0 0.5 or area under the normal distribution curve is 0 0.5. Similarly, from 0 to positive infinity, the area is again 0 0.5 or probability is 0 0.5. And we know that the total area is 1 or maximum probability is always 1 in any of the experiment. So from 1 if we subtract this probability that is the cumulative normal probability which we have already obtained from the table then we will get the required probability. So from the table we have obtained this 0 0.9332 is a cumulative normal probability which can be split up into two form that is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.4332. So if we subtract from 1 this 0 0.9332 value then we will get the required probability. So 1 minus 0 0.9332 will be 0 0.0668. So in this way you can read the values of cumulative normal probability from the table and the required probability can also be calculated by using the concept of this cumulative normal probability.